News Shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. I'm Eric Nasa with NewsShooter.com, and we are at IBC 2025, and I'm with Andrew from DAD. Andrew, what's going on, my friend? It has been a fantastic setup. I think it's going to be a fantastic show. The lead up to IBC has been fantastic. I think everyone knows what we're talking about with all the announcements. Lots. And we also have something to announce, too, <laughs> for you guys. Well, let's just jump right in. What do we got here? This is our PR4. Uh, it's our production recorder for input. Uh, it's like our PR2, but expanded upon. Uh, this is four inputs, six tracks. It has line, mic, phantom, AES-3 and AES-42 for all of our folks out there that are doing like sound effects recordings, all that kind of stuff. Mm. It's got triple power, so you have the four pin push pull, USB-C, and then we also have an MPF battery for internal over 10 hours of runtime. Yeah. Crazy good. Yeah. Is that an industry high? For that's, this type of recording? That's like double what everyone else does for internal rechargeable. It's awesome. And for some on the market, that's 300% more. It's <laughs> all day battery life. We took so much feedback based on the compact size of these recorders. Yeah. And people were like, I get four hours. And I'm like, do you, how much do you want? And they're like, I don't want to change batteries. Yeah. So we made that the goal. And we're talking, those are double A's. Like these NP those are batteries NPF, are cells double are A's. You know, you're talking... They're fine, but like you, you're running through them. You are popping in one MPF and you're done for the day. That's and that's awesome. you can charge it at the end of the day in the unit. Oh, that's really nice. Pop it on that USB-C you and you're done. Really nice. Now, uh, for, for some of us that don't know, it is, it's two channels, but you have four tracks. Four inputs, six <laughs> tracks. I know, it's, it's, like, I know wait, it's like, what? So we have channels one and two, that's your XLRs channels three and four on that TRS jack on the side, and then we can record the stereo mix as its own thing, left and right stereo mix. And then if you're like, I don't want to do stereo mixing on four tracks on such a small unit, I'm trying to run a camera, I'm trying to do a lot of other things, we have auto mix built into this thing. So it's going to do all that for you. If you're trying to do a portable podcast with your friends, it'll mix it for you. Yeah. If you're trying to just do an interview and run camera and run lights, It'll help you out and get you kind of there at least before you take it in the edit and then you can do your multi-track edit because you have ISOs of every single input on their own with that mix track to help assist you and guide you as to what it thinks would be a good mix track that you can then use your ISOs and remix the whole thing if you want. That's great. And obviously this is a very bright screen. It is, is very it daylight, bright. Daylight uh, friendly? Or uh, pretty... It's not bad. It honestly is not bad. Uh, it's also touchscreen. Uh, and we'll go in the public beta, and that means we're very close to release. That's all we're going to say about that. It could be 2025. could be early 26. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, we're really excited about this. We're really kind of throwing our hat into the ring in terms of the recorders. Yeah. No, it's really great. It's really lightweight, too, which is nice, especially if you're going to put it on, like you said, a DSLR, people that want to be more portable And if you put it on a like camera that. rig, yeah, we've got the locator pin, so it's yeah. not going to pivot on you. You can attach yeah, it to a cage. Bottom. Do anything you want with it. And it's uh, nice for external power if you want it off your camera, if you're using a cinema yeah. camera. That if you're using a nice cinema camera, you want to pull it off the V-mount batteries and internal, you can run all that kind of stuff. If you want to just use the USB-C, you can as well. Uh, it's got a uh, SD card, as you saw, uh, in the little B-roll there for the battery, mm -hmm. up to a half terabyte. And then it's got 64 gigabytes of internal storage. If case like, oh, you got to a shoot and you forgot your SD card, don't worry about it. We got you covered. And uh, what are the uh, recording modes? I think you said 32-bit float was one of the big 32-bit float, 24-bit, up to 192 kilohertz of sample rate. We've got all the frame rates. It generates the time code. It shares the time code with the rest of our friends over there in the TC1, TCS01. It's going to handle it all for you. I mean, we've got this. It's the recorder that complements the rest of our family. That's and fantastic. of course, Citus Audio Control. If you're in the Citus world for any of our ecosystem, you just add it on as one more device in the system because one app to rule them all. Fantastic. So you also, but wait, there's more. There's the thing behind you that we're not <laughs> talking about, the, the giant elephant in the room, uh, the PR6. PR6. Which is a, a briefing. six input, 10 track, 32 bit float. It has the AES3 and AES42 support. And we're just right now calling 
it also has that dual media storage. Very nice. TTB about all the other specs that we're not talking about in the room right now. <laughs> but then that one's primarily designed for bad use, right? That's going to be for your indie filmmakers, your sound mixers, uh, your bag operators, documentaries, ENG. I mean, we did so much yeah. research to find out how to make that the ideal tool for your ENG. All right, let's talk about pricing. Do we have an idea what this is going to run? Aggressively affordable <laughs> priced, deity style TM. There you go. That's what we're saying. I mean, you guys can imagine what this is going up against, how those are priced. We're deity. We're not going to let you down. All right, Andrew. Have a great show. Thanks, man. Thank Looks you. really cool.